Dear audience, very welcome to our short and brief uh, video introduction about certain features of our mobile logistics app. Uh, what you already see here in the screen is a demo environment of Business One and here in the foreground I'm mirroring currently my Android um, Zebra mobile logistics um, device which of course you can only see now as a screen but anyway you can imagine this is an ordinary um, phone here or um, even a scanner currently I'm having a scanner I put this a little bit aside here you can see a little bit better what I'm doing and the easiest way to introduce or to show you how the mobile uh, logistics app is working is to make a use case. So first let's drive to the logistics app of data unit. I'm going to open it now. Let's just, let's go to the start screen here where I select my companies. So here I'm logged in currently in OSC computers. So I'm also logging into this demo database so you can see what I'm going to do. Um, but let's first let's first um, present you the features um, like what you see here now. We have uh, the inbound processes of SAP covered, um, like the goods receipt, also the outbound processes like picking. Then there are additional features like uh, gathering some item information, inventory count, or stock transfer. Let's touch first the easy, the simple use case. Let's go for an outbound process like a picking process. For that reason, I'm opening here in SAP first a sales order. Let's just select a customer like one I have here in my database. Why not Starship Incorporation? They are uh, somewhere based in uh, London. I'm creating now a sales order for them. Just uh, make a little example here, uh, outbound process. I'm artificially collecting certain items. Doesn't really matter which ones. Uh, that one is nice, a motherboard, a monitor, uh, two items with different quantities, like three times or um, nine times, whatever. And I'm uh, remembering 2023 20, so 2239 is the sales order I'm uh, creating. Huh? And this sales order, I'm now being a logistics employee going to pick. For that, I switch here to uh, picking. And I'm just shooting with my scanner now uh, on my. Um, scanner this sales order and you see here it's appearing 2020 or 2239 which has these identical items and now it's pretty easy we have um, the open screen the picked quantities and also the packing so basically three steps pick pack and ship and then we have the delivery node created let's do step by step first i select the first item and I'm now saying how many items did I um, pick. Of course, I pick all of them, the three items, and now only left over is the remaining line, which I'm also going to uh, say that I have picked nine of them. If I have picked all the lines, they're all uh, here in this uh, picked area. And of course, now the last step is to define how do I pack these items. In my little example, I put them in a container, for example, not really too exciting. And once I have done this third step, I'm just going to create a delivery note. I do that. System is asking me. And of course, um, I'm going back to the overview page now. And on SAP side, I refresh here the um, sales order and you see the lines are grayed out and my delivery note was created just as i presented you in the mobile and of course 
in accordance to that, we also support the, the direct print of the delivery notes, or um, um, you also see, by the way, the in the pack packing slips, what I did, I added a container here. So whatever you did on the mobile is reflected also in B1. The app itself is live connected to SAP. So um, whatever SAP um, notifications uh, get back, you will see on the mobile and the other way around. So uh, you always have uh, live data. Okay, this was already a first glimpse at a simple picking process. And let's go for another example in another video.